Hi Juan, welcome to Leaders in DevSec. Today we're speaking with Senior Technical Lead Prajwal Shetty about how putting security first has shaped his mind and career. From the start of his career, Prajwal has worked in security companies, which has shaped his view of security and ultimately remained the focus of his career. Over the past 10 years, Prajwal has gone from trainee to software engineer to senior software lead and now technical leader. Prajwal, welcome to Leaders in DevSec. Hi, Jab. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. It's great having you here, uh, Prajwal. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, let's bring it back to the very start of your career when you're fresh out of university, you've just landed your first job. Uh, before that point, how much did you know about uh, application security? Okay. In those days, I just had an overview of security. I knew some some security, security issues like uh, SQL injection, then we had some uh, issues related to the uh, authentication and authorization. So just a basic idea, you know, whenever you're developing an application, keep these things into mind, but not something in specific, like mainly like the OWASP project, the top 10 security vulnerabilities and so on. I think when I graduated out of university, I did not even know application security was a thing. So the <laughs> fact that you knew about SQL injections, that's very impressive <laughs> in my books. Yeah. Now, look, First job was applying for a security focused organization. Was that an educated choice? Did you want to be in a space where there was a lot of focus on security? Yes, in fact, I was planning to work. I was mainly interested uh, with the digital security part and I wanted to work mainly for digital payments because when I was studying in the uh, university, I was mainly uh, curious about how these digital payments worked and how to how do we have security embedded in them so i actually opted for this uh, organization for these reasons mainly yeah and now there's not too many developers in the world uh, that will go out and get formal training in security but i think you're you're one of the few so Tell us what training uh, you went for and then what really prompted that? Why, why did you feel the need to go for formal security training? Okay. What I felt was there was something that was uh, missing in my actual day-to-day -day, uh, development. So what I wanted to do was to have a formal training. I actually studied its and bits whenever I had time. Uh, Studying Secure Code Warrior also inspired me a lot in order to get some um, important trainings. I studied from the resources from Security Code uh, Warrior uh, portal as well. And then I wanted to have something in specific in person as well in order to, you know, understand more or uh, to, to resolve more queries as well. So I took this EC Council Certified Application Sec Security Engineer training. And uh, it mainly focused on keeping security as the as the first thing whenever you start implementing any requirement. So it involves uh, training you about embedding security in each of the phases of the development lifecycle, right from the requirement in the deployment part. It actually explained the attacks that are possible at each different phases and also how you can defend them. Post every module, they had some labs where you needed to actually find the issue and then also defend or fix the issue. So it was quite interesting. Also, it was a hands-on on the things that we learned during the training. Awesome. So it sounds like you've obviously got a passion for security. Is that passion shared by other teams or other team members that you work with? What's the general sentiment around security? Previously, when we started um, um, making this move it was around 2016 yes there was some reluctance because it was kind of new to have all these processes and phases within the development life cycle so yes during the initial phases it was quite hard because uh, people needed to know more about security and at that point uh, secure code warrior came in to help us because we had these challenges and so on so people who were actually reluctant we asked them to actually go on to these challenges that were available so then they started understanding the difficulties 
the fixes that you can do the types of attacks that are possible and after taking these challenges and going through the resources uh, they knew the importance of security also depending upon the consequences as we needed to like spend hours during the weekends as well fixing some security issues and in order to avoid that you have to start thinking about the security from first so because of that they were motivated apart from that we also had some projects that involved uh, pci dss so as a part of the process you need to follow certain standards you need to complete certain trainings as well they they had to take these trainings but as of now if i think of today my colleagues are pretty supportive they also start thinking about security from the beginning so yes now we are in the same uh, same security perspective yeah so i think there'll be a lot of other people that probably um, are at the beginning stages of that journey where um, they have developers where security is not top of mind. And, and I personally think it's completely justified uh, because you have a hundred other things you're doing. You've got delivery deadlines and, you know, there's so many things that are going on. Um, what have you found has been your success to engage developers that have been reluctant um, to get them to care about security and get them to do some security training as well to uplift their skills? Sure. In 2016, when we had uh, a chance to try Secure Code Warrior portal, we found it quite interesting because, you know, during those days, even now, if you try to opt for any security training, it is very expensive, first point. And uh, apart from that, when you want to train, you want to train your group, your team, in fact, is taking, taking in mind, let's say for PCI DSS, you need to train the entire team working on that particular project. So once we started working with Secure Code uh, Warrior, it was quite, uh, very helpful for us. We, we told them to go through the missions, to complete the missions. And as you know, there is kind of a leaderboard. So there was kind of competition amongst themselves as well. So that kind of also inspired people to start working with that. And uh, they started to learn more. And they started also enjoying the way you are given a score for all the, the options that you choose, for the vulnerabilities that you find. And uh, it actually boosted uh, the morale of the guys in order to start development in, in using security in mind. Okay. So it sounds like you work with uh, quite a few competitive developers and then probably people that are gamers as well. <laughs> Healthy competition is yes, always useful. Yes. And it has also helped us because as, as you know, I'm a gamer as well. So yeah. Awesome. Uh, and now you've recently moved on to a, a new role. Um, you're starting uh, to begin your journey onto mastering Node.js. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, I recently moved to a, a new project uh, that used Node.js. So what I did was I did uh, self-training. As soon as I did my self-training, I wanted to learn more about secure coding in Node.js because I was going to work in a project where also as well we need to have uh, uh, the PCI, PCI DSS regulations. So I started uh, using the Secure Code Bootcamp app that we have from Secure Code Warrior, and it is for free. So I started uh, giving. Uh, started attempting the challenges that we had and i found it quite useful because at that point i had just a basic idea about how to do the development but about secure coding i did not know m many of the libraries and so on that could be used so secure code portal was the place where i i saw that okay these are the libraries that you need to use and the most updated ones that we can help in order to avoid such uh, issues apart from that once we have the uh, once I had Secure Code Warrior Portal uh, license, I started solving the missions. I had some uh, failures while completing the missions as well because, yeah, they were quite tough. And I, being just a new developer, newbie for uh, Node.js, it was quite helpful for me. It helped me in understanding the libraries that can use the way you can fix certain issues as well. So I'm like I, learning now. I, I find that so fascinating for someone who's got such a passion for security and you know you've got, gone and done formal training uh, in java and you know you're continuously learning bits and pieces the fact that you say when you've gone on to learn a new language and you've gone and you know picked up security training material on that it's hard it's not easy um and, and i wish every single person you know anyone who's developing and you know picks up a programming language it would be amazing if you know when they picked up learned how to code they also learn about the code quality aspects of it as well just like you've done and, and you know picked up the security side of things because it is important and every time you pick up a new technology stack your, your vulnerability landscape essentially uh, looks different so i think there's a right. there's a great lesson um there for everyone yeah. but 
coming to you, um, you've obviously got a wealth of experience. Um, you must have picked up a huge amount of security tricks, hacks, and lessons along the way. Um, what would be the number one security lesson that you've learned that you would like to pass on to our audience that's listening today? That's a pretty good question. <laughs> what I would suggest is mainly to focus on security first aspect of implementation in Overlord. So you have to implement security first development life cycle. Whenever you think about any phases of the development life cycle, think about the security aspect. If you are actually working on the requirements, think about the security requirements along with the functional requirements. Development, think about the security first so that you don't have to fix up something as a security issue, losing the reputation, losing your clients, working on the weekends, avoiding all of this stuff and thinking about security first. Even try on on, you know, on the side of uh, deployment, work on the hardening part, which will help you in order to you know resolve many issues like directory traversal and so on, and some default security features that are provided by the particular uh, applications that you use. Awesome. I think that is the perfect note to end on. We don't need to add anything else. Uh, Prajwal, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Welcome.